see how we do. And oh, let's try this thing again. Let's get the knight out. Support the pawn. Let's get the bishop out. Castle. It's a lot tamer this um, response, this type of positioning, because we've tried all the other kind of um, positions and they seem to not give us major problems, but you have to do a lot of work. Whereas doing this simple pawn push here, supporting the pawn, makes it a lot simpler. What we're going to do, we'll just see what the bishop wants to do. Let's attack the bishop. Let's take the bishop off the board. Looks like we've won a minor piece from the move order. So it doesn't mean a right lot, they're still playing on, so we need to find a continuation. Moving the queen again is not going to help, it's got an escape route. Bringing this pawn here just kind of locks the um, queen in. Is there any benefits to that? If he does drop, the knight can put check on the king, king moves out the way. Not really, so let's hang fire on that. So are we developing these these pieces? Big question marks. I want to make the right move. Nothing's hanging. Can take. Can develop. So I'm just looking at these. I'm like, well, where are they developing to? Right. Ooh. Right. Don't overthink it. There must be something. The queen is up here. Knight goes up. Pawn attacks. Knight puts a check on, king moves to the side, or drops down. I don't think we should waste our time with that. Let's just bring the knight out. See if we have time. If we don't go here, we might be blocking the queen if they're going to be attacking. But we do have space, so I'm going to continue with the knight moving. We are expecting the queen to get attacked. Can bring it here, then it gets attacked again. Ooh, ooh, that's a trap, dude. <laughs> I think I've just trapped my queen. We're thinking about it. Boom. We go here. Boom. Where do we go? We can't go up. Oh, I can't believe it. We've just trapped the queen. Oh, they've not gone for it, so maybe we can make some space. Tuck their knight. Yeah, we'll have to look at that one because I'm sure we just we trapped it. Okay, he's put loads of pieces on there. Oh, look at that little bit of a attack on there let's support the knight still got space for the queen to move if it gets attacked well, remember we will have a look at that but i do believe it was trapped <laughs> Knight's escaping, doesn't want to exchange. We're in front of their king. Definitely not doing this, but has the picture changed? They attack the queen. Got a check on the king. Got two knights on there. I'm going to bring the knight into the game now. Because we've got this over here at the minute. Are they going to just take the knight off the board?
No, they just keep on going with the night. All right, so. There's none of this fancy business. There is attacking, takes, takes. What am I missing? Is he looking to take bishops protecting there? Is he looking to come here to attack the queen? And attack the rook? Ah, oh, that's what they're looking to do. A little bit of fancy business. That is what they're looking to do. Let's move the king across. Protecting the square. Wow, they saw that from all the way over there. Oof. It's one of those keep intention games. You know, the opponent's not wanted to take any pieces off the board. We are a knight up from the move order in the early part of the game. And we're kind of pressing towards the king area, but nothing is clear. We're kind of hoping on, well. Ooh, he's going for a trap. I'm going to have to move the knight. It's Trapping my king queen every time. As he goes here, I'd have to take with the knight. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring the knight back. Just bring the knight back and just make some space for the queen. Let's get it out of there. So it's just going to get trapped. Attacking could hit, but he's got two pieces on there, the knight and the bishop. We could just move the queen out of the way, because we are concerned. Again, his knight's wanting to come here, isn't it, for this golden shot. Wow. They've got like a... Move the queen out of that, that fork, but the knight can still come here. Because it's got support from the bishop, and the bishop can actually put a check on the king anyway. Ooh. Ooh, a bit of cleverness going on. Mm-mm-mm. Let's move the queen. So the bishop's putting the check on rather than the knight coming here now. Move the king, but there were uh, bishop moves back. Knight can put a check on and get the f right. Overthinking, overthinking. Just deal with what is actually happening right here, right now. And at the minute, we've saved the queen, but we know that there's an attack potentially that can happen on the king. But is it really that major? And the key thing is we are materially up but we will as we've always said we want to be positionally up and the queen's coming into the game looking to pressure can't do but we can do this just to see the knight off take a take a bit of pressure away from the key square He's in, he's attacking the rook, could look to sacrifice the rook. Knight and a bishop for a rook. I think I'm open to that. Looks like he's going to have to kind of accept the knight and bishop for a rook situation now. Because he goes there we take, goes there we take, goes here we take, goes here we take. He may 
do some disturbance. Small piece attack in the night. Night does have a space here. Can come here, come back around again. Oh, exact move. <laughs> Let's re look at it. We said attacking the queen here, but is there anything else? I don't think there is. We can just take their knight off the board. Bishop takes, king takes, then they get a knight for free. So we'll move this first. They're attempting to get the piece back, minor piece back. We're, in, we're more interested in just the position. We said we'll just whirlwind round and whirlwind round. Let's continue with the pawn moves. So the pawn can actually hit our queen. So we take, pawn pushes down, it's on the queen. Queen moves out of the way. Oh, hold on. I think there's a situation brewing. They're giving us things to think about. I think there's a situation brewing. Let me just think, think, think. So if we take, the bishop takes, queen takes, that's fine. But if we take with the rook, pushes down onto our queen. Queen can come here. Attacking the bishop and the bishop escapes. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't sit right with me, does it? So we don't get the bishop and the knight for, and the other side of the coin is if we take, then they take. We're in the same situation anyway. Because we take, then the pawn pushes down onto the queen. And it's worse because they've got the rook facing our queen. Hmm. Damn. We do have a two on one here. So we could get the queen off the board. And then just go for the... Maybe. I am tempted to do that. Just take the knight and get the bishop off. But they may move the knight. And they have done. They've moved the knight. It's attacking the rook and the bishop. That can be saved. But this knight can't be. So I'm going to have to come here. We do have a check on the king. But we won't probably get there in time. Let's look on the positives. Got capture, capture, he's got the capture, capture. He's looking for a fork on the king and the rook. There's nothing there. Looks like we're saving the knight. Oh, some strange move orders going on. He wants the rooks to own this file, but this pawn is under pressure. Bishop's protecting that. Ooh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Now the knight won't be able to put the check on. Yes, very clever. Very clever. Save the bishop. Knight's currently protecting, but it's not going to stay there forever because the rook is just going to about to attack it. It's doubling up. It's doubling up. The knight is still protecting the bishop. So we're going to take double protection. It looks like it started going a bit strange for them. Um, we'll take here. Got a fork here.
don't have a fork anymore, we can still go there, but are we going to waste our time? We might as well probably just attack the rook. It's attacking the knight. He takes, then we take the rook for free. But he wins a tempo, doesn't he? There, there, there. Yeah, silly me. Giving up a piece for no reason whatsoever there, really. Didn't need to do that. Let's attack this pawn. Yeah, that was just going too fast. Let's attack the pawn. What is this? Defend. Let's hit the... Oh, they're moving so fast. I'm just not looking at what's actually happening. So it's brought the rook across. I am messing up this end game. Right. Need to look at what position they're going in, then make appropriate moves. I'm getting into this rhythm. Let's take and take. So that's straightforward. Take a look at what's happening. Tuck the rook. Tuck in the pawn. Let's capture. Can we defend? I think we can, can't we? With the bishop. Ooh, interesting. It just got interesting. Okay, if the king comes back here, then that's just flying home. Oh dear. All right. So they can take what they want. Let's just go and get a queen. And, oh, time's running out. Let's go here. Let's push. Let's take, let's push, 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 let's get a queen quick time, nice, let's block him off, let's, uh, let's go and get some pawns, quick, 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 let's take them off. Take it off. Block the queen, king. Let's push. Push. 40 seconds. You never know, some strange stuff might happen. Okay, and let's just take. And step at a time, I think. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Off we go. Very nice game, smooth. Oh, I was going to look at something once I begin in the, in the queen trapping situation that we were looking at, where we said they potentially could come here and that type of stuff. I think we're fairly okay looking at it now with calm brain. Because attacking here, I mean, the queen, like we said, could go in here, but we're just thinking it, it's going to get trapped in some way, shape. So if we did come here, same, and then they did what we said, which was like attacking here, we do have options of attacking their queen. Keeps it pretty straightforward. Gage Bar's um, singing our praises there, but probably expecting maybe the bishop to attack. And then we can always just go back to the could go to this square here or we could come here h5 so it is a little bit dancey in my human brain but we have options from the side to the side bishop can still keep harassing it though that's the thing all right so the knight could come here and then looking for some sort of checky checkmating situation okay Okay. 
pretty favourable for us at the minute. It did feel a bit that Oh yeah, and I gave up the night, didn't I? Silly. Silly, silly. Still showing minus six there. What's the big drop that's going to happen now? So minus seems minus five takes. Oh, nothing to worry about. It's not even didn't move that much. Yeah, but still. But still, could have moved the knight first. You know, maybe put a check on the rook. That's a knight b5, so bringing it back. So maybe putting the check isn't a good thing. It's not hurting it. Whoa, it's made it even better. Minus seven. Yeah, so that's what I should have been doing. Not giving it up. But it didn't cause as much problems anyway. Okay, good stuff.